treatment. And following the deadly shooting at a dance studio in Monterey Park, a local hospital looks to save lives by teaching people how to help those who have suffered traumatic injuries. In a demonstration called Stop the Bleed, people are taught how to use a tourniquet to stop life-threatening bleeding. Yeah, a trauma doctor over at Pomona Valley Hospital Medical Center held one of those demonstrations this week, and video journalist Phil Ige was there. Every time you hear something tragic like this on your news, it sparks you to say, well, what, what can I do? It can improve your chance of surviving your injury from bleeding. My name is Belen McKenzie. I'm the trauma program director at Pomona Valley Hospital. To put the tourniquet above the wound. This is a Stop the Bleed, part of our Stop the Bleed campaign as a trauma center, helping to prevent severity of injury out in the field. This came from the realization, the observation that people weren't necessarily dying from the gunshot wound itself or the injury itself, but from bleeding out. Hemorrhage is what kills you. You have massive uncontrolled bleeding. So seconds and minutes matter. If there's a bullet hole, so pack the wound as you can see Aspen doing here and then hold pressure. The goal of this compression is to stop the mass hemorrhage by compressing the vessels, the arteries um, and the veins. What do you do if the bleed's uncontrollable? What do you have available here? A tourniquet. Do you want to go ahead and place the tourniquet above the bleeding wound? You want to place a tourniquet, say this is the thigh, this is closer to the knee. You want to put this above the wound and you're going to go ahead and turn it clockwise until the bleeding stops. That's when you know the tourniquet was placed successfully. Say you don't have these fancy gizmos and gadgets, what can you do still? This part that's going to go in a hole, you're going to push it to the side and again, you're going to wrap around again and it's easy to hold once you do a loop. It doesn't replace the tourniquet, which is the most optimal device we have, but when you don't have anything, it's better than nothing. The faster you can control that hemorrhage, the better you're optimizing that patient uh, and that victim to survive such a catastrophic event. People should know about this because it saves lives. It empowers people to save other lives. It's three simple steps. Alert, find the bleed, hold pressure. It's the best chance of survival to give uh, first responders a chance to get to that victim as soon as possible. And our thanks to Phil for that.